Hey, how are you doing? This is Matt from Murphy Sport Fishing up here in the beautiful Cayucat Sound. I'm at the new Murphy Lodge. Today we're going to uh, talk about a few of the species that we uh, catch up here and like to target. Um, namely Chinook Salmon, Lincod, and Halibut. And today we're going to be focusing on uh, Chinook Salmon. So we're going to go over uh, a few basic cooking techniques, how to, how to know when it's done, how to take the skin off, and then we're going to go in and we're going to do one of my favorite recipes, which is a chili crusted Chinook salmon with a lime, cilantro, avocado, and black bean salsa. Uh, here at Murphy's Lodge, we love to incorporate um, the species here we have on a nightly basis. Uh, the guests love to be able to taste and eat their own catch the day it's caught. Uh, so we love to incorporate the Chinook salmon the lingcod and the halibut with our meals, as well as uh, many other great entrees. So tonight we've got a, a beautiful fresh Chinook salmon and a few ways to, uh, to tell if it's fresh. It's gonna have a nice firm meat and a great bright color. Uh, so this salmon here is probably about 15 pounds and it was harvested just this afternoon. You can tell by the color of the meat and the firmness of the flesh that it is a nice, fresh, clean salmon. The first thing we do when we're preparing the salmon after it's been filleted is we're gonna take the skin off. Um, unless you're going to be grilling it when it's nice to leave the skin on, I always like to take the skin off uh, before I prepare it. I like to use gloves just to keep my hands a little bit cleaner when I'm doing the rest of the, rest of the cooking and it helps control the salmon. So at this step it's really key having a nice sharp knife with a good clean edge. I start at the tail and just work my way up, letting the uh, knife do the work and just pulling on the skin. Where well, you're just left with a nice clean fillet ready to be cooked. So I always like to cut my salmon into nice uh, individual portion size pieces, usually about two to three ounces per. So we're just going to cut the salmon nice and down and this is going to be a great portion for an individual meal. Now that I've portioned the salmon, I'm just going to grab a separate tray. I'm going to put a little bit of oil down just so it doesn't cook so much in the cooking process. And I'm going to lay these out ready to be cooked. There we have, you got a beautiful nice portion. The beautiful portions ready for individuals. Now that we've got the salmon portioned and it's ready to go in the oven, I'm going to work on uh, the recipe for today, which is the, uh, the first part is the chili crust. Uh, so we're going to start with two tablespoons of chili powder and we're just going to mix it into the bowl, two tablespoons of cumin, one tablespoon of dried parsley, and then a little bit of salt and fresh pepper. Probably about a teaspoon of salt and just three or four cranks of the fresh pepper. We're just going to mix this together and this is going to be our crust, our dry rub you could say for the salmon. So now that we got that all mixed up, we're going to sprinkle this off evenly over top of the portions of salmon and it's going to be ready for the oven. I really like the contrast and flavors between the chili and the cumin. It gives it a nice balance. Not too spicy and not too sweet. <laughs> now that we've got the salmon cleaned and we've got the crust on top, we're ready to put it in the oven. So I like to do it nice and fast. So I do have my oven set at about 425 degrees and it usually takes about six to eight minutes depending on the thickness of the piece of salmon. Uh, you generally, you want to have your salmon, I like to pull mine out at about 130, 135, and then it's going to finish off in a nice medium. So now that we've got the salmon in the oven, uh, we're ready to work on our salsa or the topping that we choose. Uh, so today it's going to be the lime cilantro black bean avocado salsa. Our 
salmon's been in the oven for about seven, eight minutes now. So we're gonna, we're gonna open the door, we're gonna check it out. What we're looking for, we wanna see a little bit of the white, the fat striation starting to come through. And it's gonna be a little bit of a pinker color. Beautiful, we've got that nice fat coming through. Nice pink color. These are ready to go. So now that salmon's been pulled from the oven, I always like to rest my fish about four or five minutes. It really lets that residual heat in the, in the salmon redistribute all the juices and that throughout the piece of the fish and it really finishes cooking it. Okay, fish has been resting now for about five minutes so we're ready to take it off of the pan and we're gonna put it onto our plate ready to serve. And we're ready to put the salsa on top and finish this dish off. So we've got our avocado black bean salsa we made earlier. We're just gonna grab a nice little, nice little handful and spread it out right on top of the fish. It's okay to drop a little on the plate there, adds a little garnish. There you have a chili crusted Chinook salmon with an avocado, black bean and cilantro salsa. Come back to murphysportfishing.com for more great recipes. Thank you for watching.